I am joined by Dr. Devin Gorby, who got her PhD in Geological Sciences at the University of Buffalo and is an emerging voice in science policy. With expertise spanning earth sciences and policy advocacy, Dr. Gorby shares insights on how the geosciences can shape policy debates and foster diversity to address global challenges like climate change. Thank you, Dr. Gorby, for being here. Thanks for having me. Of course. So first off, with your expertise as you move more into science policy from a very academic scientific research background, where do you think or how do you think science can have a seat at the table when it comes to policy decisions? Um, I think there's really a lack of scientific expertise at the policy making table. And so it's super important for scientists to plug in and kind of translate some of that scientific information into something that makes sense for broader society. Um, but I also think it's really important for policy debates to remain about policy and not about science. Um, it's important for that science to be kind of worked on separately and presented to policymakers in a clear package. And so yes. engaging in things like the IPCC are hugely important yeah. Um, processes for shaping international climate policy. Yeah, I think it's so important what you said about the fine line between involving science with policy and combining them because I get a lot or I see a lot of people when I talk about climate change when I'm you know trying to communicate science a lot of people are like oh she's getting political mm -hmm. but climate change is not a pol political thing it's science. It's so. science, but it's also kind of inherently political. Exactly. Because it has such deep ties. Political implications. Exactly. But like it's backed by science. So mm -hmm. I feel like that is a big, it's a misconception people have when they just hear, oh, it's, it's political, it's climate. Absolutely. But, but yeah. So speaking of moving forward with science policy specifically around climate, we're living in uncertain times with the new administration taking office. So what concerns you about moving forward with that and where are you looking for possible areas of you know common ground collaboration with that yeah i think i remain very concerned about the supreme court's decision to overturn the chevron doctrine um, which is the um, policy that gave executive branch agencies the latitude to interpret statutes of legislation um, mm -hmm. even if it wasn't particularly clearly laid out in that legislation um, I think that overturning the Chevron Doctrine is going to put a lot of um, environmental rules in particular in courts and it's going to give the judicial branch power to kind of legislate from the bench as some people would say. Mm. Um, and I think it's still an open question about how Congress is going to respond to that. Mm. Um, and so it's again really important to kind of put scientists in policy making positions to kind of filter through some of this information and draft the best possible legislation that reduces the risk of court challenges. Um, but I think there's a lot of a lot more common ground in Congress to work on climate policy than most people expect. Um, that was maybe my biggest surprise when I worked on the Hill last year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's several must pass pieces of legislation every year, including annual appropriations, the Farm Bill, um, the National Defense Authorization Act, which is of being debated right now on, uh, on the Hill. Um, and there's lots of opportunities in those spaces to kind of develop climate and environmental legislation and get them into those packages that have to move. Yeah. Um, I think we need to continue to push really hard for ambitious emissions reduction goals. And that's kind of what I see as, as our biggest and most actionable path ahead. Yeah, I think that's a really, I mean, that's kind of the, the big hitting item. That is absolutely the most important thing that we got to be focusing on for climate change mm -hmm. and, and policy. So thank you so much for coming on and, and sharing all this. It's a really wonderful perspective you have for being a scientist trained at, in research and going and advocating for science policy. So thank you for your work. Thanks for having me. It was nice to